Okay, let's take what we've learned so far and get started writing our first Windows Phone application. So I'm going to go over here to the Start menu. I'm going to fire up my development environment. And once you've installed it, you'll see it's called Microsoft Visual Studio 2010 Express for Windows Phone. This is the IDE right here. So when the IDE first pops up, you'll get this nice little start page, which introduces you to the development environment. Now, if you've never used Visual Studio Express before, let me just give you a quick overview of what it is that we're looking at. Over here on the right side, this is the Solution Explorer. The Solution Explorer contains information about the project that you're currently working on. This is where the pages will be stored. This is where all the resources you include in your application will be. And it's where you set various properties for how the application actually runs. Over here on the left side, this is the toolbox. Now, there's nothing in the toolbox right now because we don't have a project open, but you can think of this as the place where all of those controls I talked about are stored during the authoring process. So when you want to add elements to a page, this is where you will come to do that. And you can choose to keep this open by setting that little pin there, and that pins it to the open state, or you can unpin it, and then it will only open when you mouse over it. This little start page right here is the welcome page for the application, and it allows you to do a couple of things. Over here, you can open an existing project or create a new one, and if you've been working on any recent projects, those will be listed down here. Over in the main content area, this is the getting started area, and it shows you some welcome information. There's a couple of quick courses on creating Windows Phone 7 applications and how to submit one to the marketplace, as well as a news feed where you can go and read the latest MSDN information or whatever RSS feed you like to subscribe to about phone and related development. So to get started, we're going to click on the new project link over there, and that will present us with the new project dialog. So in the new project dialog, we have a couple of choices. We have Silverlight for Windows Phone, or we have XNA Game Studio for Windows Phone. We're just going to go ahead and stick with Silverlight. And to make things simple, we're going to choose the Windows Phone application. There's a couple of other options here. The Windows Phone list application is designed specifically for phone applications that are list-based. We're not going to do that right now. We're just going to build a simple application. And there's also a class library. And these are basically reusable libraries that you can use in other applications. So if you find yourself developing the same code over and over again, you might want to just toss it in a class library and then include that in your other apps. So let's go back up to the Windows Phone application. And you can see that it's already pre-filled in some name and location information for us. Since this is just going to be a throwaway app to show you how the IDE works, we can just go ahead and leave those as they are. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And Visual Studio for Windows Phone will now create my application. And you can see the Solution Explorer is now being filled in with all the default contents for a new project. And up comes the design surface. Over here on the right, we have the XML-based XAML language. This is the XML code that determines the structure of the UI of the app. Over here on the left side, we have the design surface. And you can see the design surface has already been pre-filled in with some stuff for us. And I'm going to go ahead and scale it down a little bit so we can see more of it. And just move this over. And then here's our toolbox. And you can see the toolbox has now been filled in. So now we have all the Silverlight control goodness that we can use to build our application with. So let's go ahead and just start sending some application properties. What I'm going to do is click on the control surface. And you can see that as I select things on the control surface, they become selected, and they also become highlighted over here in the code view. So there's that little text block named My Application. That's this guy right here. Here's the page title. That's this guy right here. Let's go ahead and just change that to My App Demo. And we'll change the other guy from page title to My First Page. And you can see that the design surface is updating while I do that. That's basically all you need to do to create a new Windows Phone 7 application. So now that we've done that, let's take a look at what's involved in adding controls to an application page.